I don't think you can do anything, but I was like, you know what? We're still going to try to do something because we're not just going to let you go without fighting for you because we appreciate you. We love you as a teacher. So Angel went on online and she found us somewhere we can do a petition um, fast and easy. And um, it was on change.org and she was writing the petition. And first, um, our goal was just 100 um, signatures. But then as, as it started going up and up and up and up, we, had, we got to 1,000 because right now we're at over 1,000. And we appreciate everybody who, who has signed the, um, the petition and everything. And as, as we look at who signed it, we can see that people from the UK, Texas, New York and everything. And it's just it's just crazy because we didn't expect it to blow up and because it's not just for Mr. Newbert. Like I said, he's just the face of it, but it's for all teachers because they are the ones who teach us everything that we know. They take take care of us when we're at school. They make sure that we're okay. They feed us. They do everything they can for us. And we're just trying to make sure that we get to keep um, all the teachers that we love and just don't let them go. Okay, yeah. So tell you, you said you guys have heard about him coming into high school, right? So tell me... Um... What did you hear? How is, what, his, what kind of a teacher is he? Okay, so the minute that we hit high school, we heard about Mr. Newber and how he's a good teacher. You want to have him in for your teacher for history. And that we've heard about him dressing up as different historic figures like knights and Vikings and everything because he has a long beard and it just makes it 10 times more fun. And when we heard that we were on our schedule, that we we're going to be in his class, we were excited. And ever since then, history, I've just been getting A's in that class. Like, it's just so fun. And he relates it to different things. He relates it to video games and different things, our jobs, and about different dramas. And he makes it relatable, which makes it fun. Okay, yeah. So one of you guys mentioned something about, like, uh, drama, I guess, in, in high school, but relating it to American history. And, and stuff. Tell yeah. me about that sometime. Okay. So basically, we were learning about World War One, and he was talking, he was relating France and Britain and the USA, and basically, USA is a guy, and France and Britain are two girls that are fighting over the USA, like, basically wanting its resources and everything, and hearing about that, just, like, I, you see how I'm able to repeat it? It's because he related it to certain things, because, I mean, I may have not gone, gone through it, like, myself, but, like, hearing about it, it makes it interesting. Yeah, and okay. those things happen in high school, so we get we like, oh, we know that because we've seen that happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, tell tell me one more time, just you know, why was it important for you to to do something and to speak up for for your teacher? Um, like I said, if um, like I said, compassion is the hand of empathy. And you just want to make sure you take care of the teachers because teachers are the ones that build up this country. Going to school is required, and you're taught by teachers. If you're not treating them right, then I'm be, I mean, you're basically telling people that you don't have to respect the people that are basically having like paving the path for you in life. And I feel like I care about my teachers. They go above and beyond buying things with their own money, buying food for the students, like staying after school without any pay. And I feel like they just should be treated right. And if they want to not go to school, so they can take care of their families, then I feel like they have the right to do that, just like they gave the students the same option. Okay. Um, let's see. I think uh, one of you said that you had emailed the superintendent and the principal, and there's a meeting. Okay, right, right. Okay, tell me about that. So um, first I inter um, – I e okay, let me start over. First, <laughs> first I emailed the superintendent, and I was just saying that um, I would appreciate it if you looked at the situation again and try to compromise – I'm not saying just listen to everything he says and just um, do it, but I'm saying can you compromise because you should want to keep a good teacher, someone who actually enjoys teaching students. And then I emailed the principal, and tomorrow I have an interview. I'm um, not an interview, but I have a meeting with the principal so we can talk about the situation and see what we can do to make sure that we can keep our teachers at our school. Awesome. Okay, guys, I think that might be everything. Is there anything else that you want to the say? Mayor, the mayor. Oh, we also emailed the mayor and everything. We've emailed... Um, multiple teachers from our school and from around the country. We have a school in New York that all the teachers are signing the petition for that. So I just wanted to let like everybody know that we're putting the word out. We're putting it on our stories, updating everybody. And we've even had donations on the website for people to promote the petition so it can go other places and everybody can see about it. Okay. And are you guys um, expected to go back to school? Did you choose option one or option two? We chose not to go back. We're not going back. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. All right. No problem. That's awesome. Well, um, guys, I think that might be everything. Um, we're 
good. If I have any other questions, uh, tell your mom, Stacey, I'll give her a call. Okay. Um, and uh, I think that's it. This should be on tonight at 10 and 11. Okay. Um, uh, on Lady. And if uh, for some reason that changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Did y'all have any other questions? Um, no, I think we're good. Thank you for interviewing Thank us. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for agreeing to it. We appreciate it, okay? No problem. Right. Have a good night. You too. All right, bye.